Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We are hanging out in Los Angeles in our hotel right now, and I got a few minutes to make a tutorial video on copyright infringement. A lot of people right now are uploading their videos on YouTube, and they're immediately getting a copyright infringement notification, and for the wrong reasons, unfortunately. In our case, we use iMovie for editing. All of the jingles, all of the audio, all of the tones, all of that in iMovie you can use 100% legally on YouTube videos. Unfortunately, we are getting a copyright infringement when we use the iMovie tones and upload on YouTube. So all we got to do is go through this simple process to actually get that reverted and allow that video to start making money and monetize legally. Let's take a look. Today a pretty important video. We're talking about copyright infringement and thank you for watching. This may be very helpful for you. With that said, I want to talk about something that a lot of YouTube creators are experiencing. They're uploading a video and immediately getting a copyright infringement on their actual video, thus not allowing them to monetize that video, when in reality, the actual video creator is legally allowed to use everything in their video for monetization or commercial use. So with that said, in the event that you are experiencing that, I'm going to show you a few things you can do, and maybe this will be helpful for you. So let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is iMovie. That's what we use to edit all of our videos to upload on YouTube. And that is an Apple product, an Apple app. And with iMovie, all of the actual internal music, the jingles, the sound effects, all of those included inside of iMovie, you can use for free. And what Apple states is at a royalty-free basis, which will then allow you to use all of that content for personal or commercial use. Now, with that said, in the event that you use iMovie to edit your videos and then upload them on YouTube, and then you immediately get that copyright infringement, here's what we are going to do. We are going to go up to Video Manager. I know this is the old style. And now that we are in the Video Manager portion of the login, as you can see here, Monetization. You'll notice all the other videos have that green money sign. Unfortunately, this one is off. Let's click on it. View copyright claim details. From here, channel impact not affected, good. Visibility still public, everyone can view this video, cool. But here's the problem. Video cannot be monetized. We want it to be monetized, right? We want to make extra money with this video. So let's scroll down, and here is the actual music tunes that the Google software is detecting that we are using illegally. Now, out of respect for Google and YouTube, their fraud software, their copyright software is incredible. And that's a good thing for video creators that don't want any of their materials used by others illegally. And at the same time, it allows video creators to use legally available content by companies such as Apple to add to their videos to use commercially. So again, here is the actual name of the tunes, Sinatra Boogie. Video cannot be monetized. I will scroll down here and the content found during the 329 point to 350, which is this square right here. Basically at the very end of our videos, we play this little tune. And during that tune, we also add end screen video links to provide you extra videos that may be helpful during your projects or other contents. So moving along, Let's go up to Actions, select Action. You can mute the song, which we really don't want to. You can replace the song. That's a good option. You can click on that, and YouTube and Google have an enormous amount of free music you can use for your videos. However, we really like the Sinatra Boogie that we use from iMovie, so we are going to select Dispute. From here, it's very important to pay attention to these three squares. Number one, I own a copy of the song or video. Number two, I am not making money from my video. And number three, I gave credit to the copyright owner. Now, it's very important. Remember that the following are not valid reasons to dispute a content ID claim. So none of these are true, so that's good for us. We are going to select this box here, which is my dispute isn't based on any of the reasons above. I would still like to dispute this content ID claim. Continue. Now, when you get to this screen, this step is very important. The Apple iMovie licensed agreement steps to take during this process will have you select the license. I have permission or a license to use the content claimed in my video. Continue. You will read all through these paragraphs here. I have permission to use the content from the copyright owner. Continue. And another important step, please include your licensed information below. And Apple has this all laid out for you to type in word for word on how they want you to type it in. And again, that's all in the iMovie Apple license agreement, which I will show you here shortly. So I'm going to enter in, I am licensed 
by Apple Inc. to use, and then in parentheses you will put the track name, which in our case, Sinatra Boogie dash cinematic tunes, in parentheses, which is provided in the iMovie app from Apple Inc. They then want you to put the actual link to the licensed agreement, which again you can get on the Apple website. I will click license and I will paste a link for that. From here, double check your entire statement here and that all looks good. You will scroll down and the license is there. From here down to these three boxes, my video does not infringe anyone's copyright. I'll select that. Down here, select the second box. I understand that the claimant will be able to review my video and my dispute rationale. Down to the third one, I understand that filing fraudulent disputes may result in termination of my YouTube account. And from here, enter in an electronic signature and select submit. At this point, the dispute is submitted. Disputes will be sent to the claimant for review. YouTube does not review content ID disputes. The claimant now has 30 days to review your disputes. We'll send you an email to let you know the outcome. And that basically ends that. We'll close that out. And from here, we play the waiting game. However, as you can see here, check this immediately after you make that dispute. The monetization portion is now on. We've got that green money sign. Your video will continue to earn revenue until the outcome of your dispute is final. And as you can see, that little gray box down below, we can continue reading. Revenue generated during the dispute period will be paid to the appropriate party, which is fine. We understand that. So that's basically it. We'll close this out. And as you can see here, what was showing earlier, monetization was off. The green money sign was grayed out and not allowing you to to actually monetize it. So we are making progress. Again, we're playing the waiting game right now. We're going to head over to the actual Apple iMovie software license agreement. Again, you can get this on apple.com, which is right here, and it's got everything. You can read it word for word if you would like to. Most important thing to take away from this is you can use 100% of all the jingles, music, tunes, everything that is on iMovie because it is a licensed agreement with Apple and they are allowing you to use all of those for 100% free which is a huge advantage courteous from Apple Incorporated so I'll close that out All right, YouTubers, quick update. It has been about three and a half weeks, just under a month. And as you can see, here is the video once again that had that little issue. And it has been resolved. The actual agency that claimed that it was copyright actually had the chance to review it. And it is not copyrighted once we informed them that it is from Apple iMovie app. And everything was completely 100% legal. So again, two things happen. First thing, you will get an email that says it has been reviewed and the case or copyright case has been closed, either successfully or unsuccessfully, or in other words, to your advantage or not to your advantage. In this case, it was to our advantage, obviously, because this was legal to use. And once you get that email, just go ahead and log on to your YouTube account and verify that this right here, monetization, is on. And there are no pending copyright messages at all. So at this point, YouTubers, that basically ends the video. We hope the video helped. A few things that are extremely, extremely important to take away from this. If you're not using iMovie to edit your videos prior to uploading them on YouTube, you have to go to the actual software company website and start digging into the actual licensed agreement and see if you can actually use their content for revenue or commercial use on YouTube. Again, this video is solely on iMovie, which is an Apple app for Apple. So that's very important to know. Again, we hope the video helped. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again. And hey, YouTubers, stay safe out there and we hope the video helped.